Hello, I'm Hollis from Hollis JC Lab, and today I'm back with part two of making an AC cut. As you can see, I've changed it slightly. I've taken off the shock side screwed on. I've decided that since this is just such a small car, I'm not even going to have shocks, and it's just going to be always like this. Then I also made an ESC and soldered it in place, and they took off the servo. This one is going to be using two batteries since I do not have a proper ESC. So I made this one that just connects the second battery for the motor. So, first I'm just going to glue this in place. Let me just heat up my glue gun. I'll be back when it's heated up. So I'm back with my glue gun. Just heat it up. So I'm just gonna put hot glue here. And just push it down. Right there. And that's my ESC. Oh, now I'm just going to glue all of these so they're permanently up like this. So I'm just going to have to like this instead of shocks on those I've decided. So I'll be back in just a minute when this is dry. So I'm back and it's now glued. So next I'm just going to glue the receiver and other ESC because this setup uses two ESCs right there. Just, and I'll just plug this into two, channel two. Just glue this a little bit more to make sure this. If I use a little bit of duct tape on it, better. Okay. Now I'll need to figure out how my turning. I'm going to do this turning because. The way it had originally did not exactly work the best. But first I need to change the way these wires are because this has five wires and I need to change it to three. So I'll open it up and I'll be back to see what I need to do. So I got it open and it basically it's just a motor with wires on. So I'm just saying I'm going to use a different servo. So I'll get a different one and be right back. So I have this servo and I just think I'm going to just switch the stops in front of the servers out. So I'm hoping these will have the same size, otherwise I'll have to make a completely different steering system, which wouldn't be too hard, it would just take some time. Okay, these don't quite fit, so I might just... Hmm. Just has to figure out some other tuning system for this. The two batteries I'm going to be using is this and this. For this. So they'll fit in sideways.
Let me see. I'm just going to pull this out and pop So basically, all it would need is one rod that would go through the whole side. So I think I'll just try and switch that out. I'll need something smaller than this. I think I found something that should work. Let's glue this in place here. And I'll need to measure it to find out how long I'll need to make it. So it's around three inches needs to be. I'll just cut it right around here. And I just need to whittle this down a little bit so it will fit in there. Nope, it needs to be bit small. There. I think it needs to be shorter still. Cut it there. So I think I'll finish this this episode so it'll work and then I'll probably install the electronics and stuff next, next episode. I'll build the body and test run it. If you have a specific body you'd like me to build for it, please comment it down below. And I'll try and build that body. Oh, it looks like this is broke. I'll fix it. It is long enough, it just wants you to cut up an area for it. Right there. So I'll just cut that out and I'll be back. So I actually decided that I'm going to put this in the next video. So that's all for this video. Bye.